welcome back to Youth Voices at Denali Summit School. I'm your infamous host, Stephen Johnson. And I'm Angela. Thank you for tuning in with us today. We have such a special couple of segments for you. I think it's going to be a real treat. Agreed, Stephen. I'm excited to see how this travesty is going to play out. Today we have our movie review segment, Super Bowl Village coverage. And a special improvised treat. I'm I'm curious how funny it'll be. Probably super funny because we love to laugh and we also love to make television. Crew, come on and show yourselves. Mm -hmm. Wow, aren't we good looking? <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. Stay tuned. Jacob, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review with Tila and Alex over here. The movies we are going to be reviewing are Star Wars, The Force Awakens, um, Captain America, Civil War, and yeah, that's it. Um, what's your opinion on Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Alex? Uh, yes. Uh so Star Wars Force Awakens is uh, a, a very great movie. It's uh, one of the things they did uh, is that I really think that they played it safe. Like a lot of people say that they kind of just did a remake of uh, Episode Four, and yeah, I mean they did because one of the things that the prequels did a lot of people complain about, which I think the prequels are fine, but a lot of things people complain about is that the prequels are just they don't they just don't feel like Star Wars. They don't feel like Star Wars, which I do agree. I mean, they don't really feel that much like Star Wars. Like, especially the part where Yoda's jumping all over the place with a lightsaber and he's like, that, that doesn't feel like Star Wars. And so I guess, like, one of the, it just, it feels more new. So one of the things they tried to do with The Force Awakens that I personally think is that they, they, J.J. Abrams tried to, or the scriptwriters, whatever, tried to make it seem a little bit more familiar, more like Star Wars, which they definitely succeeded in. It does feel a lot more like Star Wars. And they just played it safe. They tried to make... Especially people who grew up with them would understand and, I guess, better, like, I guess, The Force Awakens because of how familiar it might feel. <laughs> and yeah, it definitely did have the Star that Star Wars feel that was missing from the prequels. What do you think, Tila? I'm not a Star Wars fan, and I don't... Anyway. <laughs> I don't think you want me to give my opinion on Star Wars, so yeah, we should have, back we should to have you. Both sides. We should have both sides, and I'll just counter everything you say. Alex, on a rating of one to five, and on yeah, on a rating of one to five, what do you think of Star Wars? Are one being not very good, five being excellent. Ten billion. Four. <laughs> four. Why? Unexpected. Why do you say four? Because I mean, it, it had it had its problems. I mean, it, no movie's perfect. I rarely, rarely, rarely give movies a five. In fact, I don't give any movie a five. Yeah, I have, no, I have no single movie I have ever seen is worth five stars. It, it had its problems. Um, what do you guys, what's your opinions on um, Captain America, the Civil War? I think it's going to be an awesome movie, and if you can just watch the trailer, I'm sorry for all of you who really want to see this, but if you watch the trailer and you read lips like I do, um, you can tell that when Bucky is beating up Iron Man that he's just lip syncing, which who, those of you who don't read lips, <laughs> means Steve's dead, so Captain America dies in this movie and it's kind of sad, um, but I think that that's just the main thing with this movie, it's just like any other Marvel movie and everybody's just fighting against each other, so. Did you see any of the other Captain America movies? All of them. Are you kidding? All of them. What would you give the last Captain America movie on a scale of one to five? Which one? Like, like one type of, yeah, right? One uh, I watched that recently again, and it was kind of slow in the beginning. I don't like movies that like have a slow start, so it was kind of slow and boring in the beginning. But the middle, the climax, and the plot, and the resolution was really good. But I feel like it needed more closure, I guess. Like, I don't know how, I just needed more closure with that movie. 
Um, but it was a really <laughs> it was a really good movie. It just had a really slow start. So on a scale from one to five, stars one being horrible, five being fantabulous, three being eh, seemed better. Um, I'd probably give it a three point five. Okay, Alex, what's your opinion on uh, Captain, Mer Captain America: The Winter Soldier? Uh, The Winter Soldier. I don't remember like anything, so oh. I can't say. Okay. Um. So what what do you guys think is gonna happen in this new Captain America movie? I don't think Steve's. I'm assuming it's Captain. Yeah, Steve's Captain America, right? Yeah. Yes. I don't think he's dead because that's probably gonna be like a giant plot twist. It's like, hey, look, he's dead. Oh wait, nope, he's not dead. I hope he's not dead. <laughs> Actually, okay, no, yeah, he's dead. Anyway, no. <laughs> No, he's not that. I don't think he's gonna I would die. just like to say that he's very rude. No, I don't think he's gonna die. Uh, yeah, any more questions? All right, thanks. About Star Wars. For, uh, for Marvel. Being here with me today, and uh, I. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Hi, welcome to The Steven Show. And today we have a special guest. Please welcome Jar Jar Binks. Lisa, happy to be on stage. So, Jar Jar, <laughs> how is it like to be on stage? Lisa, like a oh, 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 boy, boy, boy. Oh no, are you okay? Lisa, okay. So, Jar Jar, how do you like this show? It's a so cool for Lisa to be on stage. What was it like to be on the Star Wars set? It was fun, but George Lucas was bossy pants. So you didn't like him? No. So what do you think of your new role? Do you like it? It's a, oh no, oh, oh. It's okay. It was fun. Jar Jar, do you have any pets? Just me. So you're the pet? Maybe. Thank you, Jar Jar, and this is a Steven Fantasy Show. Okay. Hi. What's this supposed to be? Stem from. <laughs> Seriously? Do you want to cut? Lisa, Darth Jar Jar. I'm sorry, I've never seen anyone who looks exactly like you. What's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I am a Klingon. You have not seen one because you have not reached the capability to reach out into our sector of space. But my people have, and that is how I, Gorok, son of Magul, have seen, uh, wait, son of Magul have, wait, Senegal House of Man Men Men Ma Ma Manav is here. Oh, okay then. That's just great. So, what are you waiting for here? I honestly am not aware of the reason I'm currently sitting here in this place. Human. But when the time comes, my captain will tell me. Why are you here? Uh, oh, I'm Danella. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Manov. I'm just sitting here and have been sitting here and will continue sitting here until my name is called for whatever purpose. Hello. What's your name? Aurora. Really? Cool. Well, nice to meet you. This is Lenark. He's a um, how do you, how to say Klingon? Klingon. Really? 
No way! I'm a huge fan of Jen Roddenberry. He's probably one of the most amazing writers on the face of the earth. Huge fan of his work. Dude, how'd you get your costume to look so real? Costume? You think I'm wearing a disguise? I'm deeply offended and challenge you to a battle to death. Whichever one of us is worthy will die and go to Stovark. Um, okay. Mm, kind of fake, kind of not fake, kind of freaky, but okay. So what are you guys here for? Huh, same. Intriguing how we all do not recall the reason we're here. Another one? You've got to be kidding me. How many people are going to randomly show up and not know what they're waiting for? Actually, I, uh, I know why I'm here. Oh, really? Well, first, tell us who you are, then tell us your way, what you're here for, and then maybe we'll all know the reason we are here. Well, um, I'm a Jedi, I have a lightsaber, and I can do the Force and do all these awesome things, kind of, uh, things and, um, and all that other Luke Skywalker stuff. But um, I don't really know much about myself because the person who wrote this doesn't really, is not a fan of Star Wars, so I don't know anything about myself. All I know is I'm a person and I'm here for a reason. Wait, no way. I'm a huge star. I'm a huge fan of George Lucas. No way. Uh, I so wish I was a Jedi with a lightsaber and could control the Force and. Ooh, no, 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 no. I do not approve. No way anyone could possibly believe in anything such as the Force. And no way someone could possibly believe in it. Whatever the heck you people believe in. Ha! Huh. And for your information, mister, my people, as in all tech trekkies around the globe, are a group of alien races joined together in alliance to help people all across the galaxy. Before you say anything, that the right hand man that the right hand man is an elf, let me just point out that but his right hand man was the best Vulcan that's the elf, by the way. There's, there has ever been better than Paul and better than Tuvok. Stop! This has gone to, this has got to be the most dishonorable thing I have ever seen. If you two wish to determine who is better, you shall battle it out to the death. <laughs> Whoa, 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 no, 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 no way anybody is battling to the death over some stupid fandom argument. This is just unbelievable. You, sir, are the one that's dishonorable because you're choosing to fight over something that is completely, utterly pointless. I'm a fan of more Star Trek, but that's besides the point. May I please remind all of you why you are here? Spout, please, tell them. I'm here because I really like pizza. And I've heard that this far reach of this inedible galaxy is very detailed with its pizza, with its toppings. I've only seen them in the movies of what you call modern, but I would love to try the pizza that you make here. It sounds really delicious. Oh, well, that's just splendid. Maybe now all of you know why you're sitting in this pointless rating room arguing over Star Trek and Star Wars. I mean, trust me, me and my friend could go on about this for hours, but I mean, really, you're in a pizza parlor. Come on, have some common sense. You are all dismissed, except for you, you wanna try pizza. If you don't wanna try pizza, then just go. Well, I, for one, am not waiting around any longer for something I don't know of. Agreed. Pizza. Hello Welcome. and welcome to Sci-Fi Fight. Fight.
where we get our favorite sci-fi characters and we pit them to a battle to the death. Yeah, here pretty is, much. Here's Tila, and she has her Star Trek, and I have Star Wars. It's Star Trek, not Star Trek. I would have at least given you the full title and not muffled it. Well, they don't. They don't deserve it. So, uh, anyway. So, As you can see, this is going to be very heated. Please introduce your character that you are. Please introduce your champion. <laughs> um, my champ, my champion from my favorite Star Trek series of yeah. all time, <laughs> of all time, is Star. No, Star Trek The Next Generation, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. He is obviously French, as you can tell by the name. He is one of the most amazing captains in the entire Starfleet. He's got the most powerful um, fleet ship in the entire fleet next to Voyager with Captain Janeway. But we're not talking about Janeway, we're talking about Picard. Now, your champion? I will be choosing a relatively new character to the Star Wars saga. I will be choosing Kylo Ren. He is, uh, Kylo Ren, although we don't know much about him, I do believe he is very powerful, but he has not reached his, <laughs> he has not reached his full potential. So, right now, he's probably at his weakest. But even then, he'll still beat Picard, because he doesn't have a force. And Kylo Ren is uh, the leader of the Knights of Ren. He is not exactly a Sith, he's the leader of the Knights of Ren, which is something that Supreme Leader Snoke created. Not much information is given on this. And he is basically the right hand man of Snoke, who is basically Snoke. Great name. So is Picard. Picard. No, it's Picard. Picard, not Picard. Anyway, are we gonna fight or not? All right. We've been fighting. All right. It's been brought. Kylo Ren. Picard. What is Picard's abilities? He's amazing captain. He can give amazing orders and not waver from them. What can you do do bef besides the force? Then farp about the force. Well, they don't care about the force. They're in an arena in a fight to the death. He has no one to command. Well, I will agree. Kylo Ren doesn't exactly have the very best commanding abilities. I mean, especially the fact that he destroys anything he sees when he gets angry. He destroys anything he sees when he gets angry. Yeah, my captain. So, my captain has great anger management control. That's not going to help him in a fight to the death in an arena. So, if it's a fight to the death in the arena, he'll get Lieutenant Worf. He can't because it's solo. Fine. Then he'll do it himself. And you know what? He's going to win. No. Yes. Because he has no weapons and he has a lightsaber. Kylo Ren has a lightsaber and he's going to beat Picard because he's just so much better. He has the force. He can choke. And that's all the time we have. Star Wars won. Bye. No, Star Trek won. We're tied. Bye. Star Wars. Star Trek. Ha! Star Trek. <laughs>